In this video, I will compare the AMD Ryzen 5 7520U and AMD Ryzen 5 7530U, highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. Both of these processors are from AMD, having their unique strengths and weaknesses. Let's delve into their features. The Ryzen 7530U was released 5 months after the introduction of the Ryzen 7520U. The Ryzen 7530U is equipped with 6 cores and 12 threads, whereas the Ryzen 7520U has 4 cores and 8 threads. The greater number of cores and threads allows the processor to handle multiple tasks simultaneously and efficiently. Although the base clock frequency of the Ryzen 5 7530U is slightly lower than that of the Ryzen 5 7520U, the higher core count in the Ryzen 7530U results in better overall performance. Conversely, the boost clock frequency of the Ryzen 5 7520U is slightly lower than that of the Ryzen 5 7530U. Consequently, under heavy CPU loads, the Ryzen 5 7530U outperforms the Ryzen 5 7520U. The L1 and L2 cache sizes for both of these processors are identical, but the L3 cache of the Ryzen 5 7530U is 12 MB more than that of the Ryzen 5 7520U. So, a larger cache is generally associated with improved system performance as it allows the processor to quickly store and retrieve more data and instructions, thereby reducing the need to fetch data from the slower main memory. Additionally, the memory size supported by the Ryzen 7530U is 64GB, while the Ryzen 7520U only supports up to 16GB. In this aspect as well, the Ryzen 7530U outperforms the Ryzen 7520U. The Ryzen 7530U supports both DDR4 and LPDDR4 RAM, whereas the Ryzen 7520U supports LPDDR5. Moreover, for LPDDR, the memory speed of the Ryzen 7520U is faster than that of the Ryzen 7530U. Both of these processors support integrated graphics, and the boost frequency of the integrated graphics for the Ryzen 5 7530U is slightly greater than that of the Ryzen 5 7520U, suggesting that the Ryzen 7530U might excel in graphical tasks. The Ryzen 7530U supports ECC, while the Ryzen 7520U does not, making the Ryzen 7530U a suitable choice for critical systems. They both support PCI version 3, but the number of PCI lanes supported by the Ryzen 7530U is 20, whereas that of the Ryzen 7520U is 4. Having more PCI lanes can be advantageous in terms of expanding connectivity and accommodating high-performance components. Both processors support a maximum temperature of up to 95 degrees Celsius. The TDP of both processors is fixed at 15 watts, meaning that both can be configured to run at lower power consumption levels. Now, let's delve into a benchmark comparison. Examining both single-core and multi-core performance with Cinebench R23 and Geekbench V6, the Ryzen 7530U outperforms the Ryzen 7520U. With this information, the ultimate choice between the processors rests in your hands. Make a wise decision by carefully considering these specifications and benchmark results. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update.